Hi, just a quick second channel video. I'm just analyzing the audio on my Blackmagic uh, ATEM Mini Pro. And by the way, uh, just today, Blackmagic, they've seen my video. It's upside down. All the electrons, is it? Yeah, all the electrons are going to fall out. Um, they, they've they seen my uh, videos and they like my stuff and they drop by their latest, the, um, uh, the Magic, the, the Blackmagic ATEM Mini Pro Extreme or Extreme Pro. Mini Extreme, I, sorry, a Mini Extreme ISO. Oh, God. There's so many variations of this thing. It's crazy. Anyway, thank you very much, Black Magic. Uh, yes, I will be doing a uh, teardown of this because I've actually maxed out. Um, I'll have to link in the videos. I've actually maxed out my ATEM, my four channel ATEM Mini Pro because I've got two microphone inputs and four video inputs. And even technically, that wasn't enough. I had to actually uh, disconnect one of them the other day to feed in my uh, wafer microscope into it, uh, camera into it. So, yeah, I'm actually um, uh, out of input. So anyway, yeah, I've got a new one which has a lot more bells and whistles. So very cool. Thank you very much. Um, yes, I'm floating Dave head because um, I'm wearing a green shirt. <laughs> I just happen to be wearing a green shirt today. So sorry about that. Um, but what I've done is a little test because uh, people and I've noticed it myself and I have tried to be if I'm fussy about the video, I have actually corrected the audio sync um, in my editor because there seems to be an audio sync between the uh, microphone, because I use the, one of the microphone inputs. There's there's inputs on this thing, and over here, there's two microphone inputs. And I use uh, one of these coming from a shotgun microphone, another one coming from the wireless microphone. So uh, that's where I get my main audio from, although uh, this can actually record the audio from all the cameras as well. It's just that the shotgun's better, so I use the audio from that. And there's a delay between the HDMI video captured and the audio sync. Now, uh, so I just shot some test footage here um, and I just wanted to see, and I'm using uh, chroma key and you see how I've got picture in picture here. Um, uh, I thought, and a lot of people um, uh, sort of uh, confirmed this, that you can't do green screen chroma keying using the picture in picture function. So if you use the picture in picture function like that, you can't do chroma keying on a picture in picture. But that doesn't mean I can't do talking Dave head with this thing because I've I actually um, I have tested it and it does actually work. You've got to use the well, <laughs> you've got to use the key over here. Okay, so um, yeah, so it does actually work. I can do talking Dave head on my ATEM Mini Pro, which is great. Although I don't have the big green screen over on the bench that I do behind me here, and it's huge. <laughs> Big green screen, and it's hard to move. But anyway, um, yeah, so what I wanted to do is just test the sync here. So what I've got is, you can see, I can actually step frame by frame, and you can see there's a difference. Look, just going from this, you can see, the main camera up here is like, like it's because this is only shot at 30 frames per second or 29.97 frames per second for those playing along at home. But you can see that there is a difference between the main camera. It's the same image, but it's overlaying it. And it actually turns out it takes one frame, it's one frame behind. So the, the chroma key window, the key in window is one frame behind. So th there you go. It takes one frame to catch up to where it actually was uh, in the main frame. So there you go. And you can even see my hand movement as well. So yeah. So that is, I, I guess, that's the processing delay. I mean, they could have delayed if they wanted to fix that in the uh, firmware in this thing. They could have, uh, or the, HDM, uh, the uh, HTML in here, the HTML. HDMI and HTML, too similar. Um, they could have fixed that in uh, like the FPGA uh, in here and actually delayed the main camera to see that they're, you know, to then have these synced up. But just be aware of that. There is actually, it looks like precisely a one frame delay on the image because this image source is coming from the same source this is, but to get it overlaid like that in the chroma key in the processing, it's doing that delay. Um, I uh, I should have done. I should have actually recorded picture in picture, actually to see what the delay was. But anyway, I'd expect a similar sort of delay. Um, it could even be more for picture in picture. I don't know. But definitely for the chroma key for talking Dave head, there's one frame out. So that's interesting. The other thing I wanted to test is also 
Uh, here we go. Is the audio sync? Because people have been commenting on this. If I don't actually fix it uh, myself manually, and I haven't been uh, doing a uh, clapperboard to you know sync my, because I normally don't sync my audio at all. It's I just capture it in camera. But with the A10 Mini, there has been a slight difference, and people have noticed it, and I've noticed it too when I actually hear and watch and edit my videos, and I've tried to actually shift the audio and actually correct it. It's a real pain in the ass. So I believe there is actually a way um, in the control for this thing to uh, set an audio delay or something like that, but I just wanted to measure it. I wanted to quantify this thing. So let's let's go over to this one. This one looks looks a bit nicer right so i'm using a clapper and you can see that the audio has come through okay the audio has come through first okay so it looks like there is so this is a delay in the video process inside of things because as i said the audio is coming from the microphone input and i'm using a direct analog uh i'm feeding my shotgun mic into a uh, Tascam, uh, which is a purely um, edit, you know, XLR um, recorder thing, and that's all analog, so it feeds it straight out. So there should essentially be no uh, delay in there. Um, and you can see that the audio arrives first, and I haven't actually hit the hammer down. So let's count the number of frames. One, two, three, four, five, bang and then it hits and there'll be a slight acoustic delay when it goes to the shotgun mic but i'm not you know not not that fussy there's at least a five frame delay at 29.97 frames per second so that's about 16.6 millisecond delay there um it, it could be either five or six you know like and, and and you can actually see yeah you can see the difference in the uh in the chroma key there you can see that the thing that the whole board doesn't move till a frame later there you go so there's the one frame delay but it looks like there's either five or six so it's either somewhere between 16 and 20 milliseconds uh actual delay on this thing um i assume the mini the extreme will be uh, exactly uh the same um and they could actually fix this because it's a known thing they could actually uh there should be i was just talking to them today there should actually be a checkbox like in the control software for this thing it's incredibly extensive the stuff you can do with this is just insane it's absolutely insane this would have, uh, this functionality would have cost you know 50 or 100 thousand dollars 10 years ago and now it's just oh, unbelievable the entire production studio anyway they yeah they could have they should know that system delay they they should know that precisely. I mean, I've done my measurements here. If, you know, between sixteen and fifty milliseconds, uh, 15, sixteen and twenty milliseconds, something like that. But they should know the precise delay. There should be like a checkbox to go like delay audio to sync up with audio input to sync up with the video. And um, yeah, I think that'd be a really useful feature because obviously the audio is getting recorded before the video is being processed. And uh, fair enough, you know, it takes time to uh, process video. But there you go. That's uh, evidence that that is, yeah, one, two, three, four. I'm not counting that one because it hasn't hit yet and it hasn't moved it. Five. It's it's at least five. It's either five or six frames delay. Isn't that cool? There you go. So yeah, it'd be nice if it had that, so I don't have to fix that. In I I think there is. I think I haven't really have not looked at the because the control panel you get for this thing which is all uh, ethernet based it's all web based um is is insane i think i saw somewhere that there's an acoustic uh, there's some sort of uh phase delay or or you know delay on the audio somewhere i can do it so you know but it'd be nice if just there was a checkbox that just said you know fix it <laughs> and you didn't have to dick around with putting in some exact value so there you go that's very cool Anyway, yeah, thanks again, Black Magic, for uh, dropping this bad boy off. I did actually need two of these, actually. I needed one for the uh, microscope bench, and I was going to have one here this for my editing uh, bench as well. So, yeah, that's going to come in real handy. So there you go. I think that's cool. Measured. Quantified. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Catch you next time.